perhaps a VP elect Harris coming down the stairs from the crypt. Officer Goodman, this is a, a walk he's made many a time, but um, never as part of the procession in quite this way. Don't you feel like he's, and he is, he's on duty, he's just... You can see his <laughs> his eyes sort of going back and forth. Of course, he's seeing familiar faces all around him, but... Um. Ladies and gentlemen, accompanying the Vice President-elect, the Chief of Inaugural Ceremonies, Maria miller Lohmeyer, the Acting Deputy House Sergeant-at-Arms, Kevin Grubbs, and the Acting Deputy Senate Sergeant-at-Arms, United States Capitol Police Officer, Private First Class, Eugene O. Goodman. Well, crescendo of applause, and we know who that's for. Yeah. Officer Goodman. His actions more than her own. Well, there we see Speaker Pelosi. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the rest of um, the JSIC there preparing to cross so over. We've got to right. spell out our acronyms. It's the Joint Congressional Committee on the Ladies and gentlemen, ceremonies. the Vice President elect of the United States, Kamala Devi Harris, and Mr. Douglas Imhoff. Vice President-elect Harris, who resigned her seat as a senator from California just yesterday. And today, very shortly, to be sworn in as Vice President. So her office within the Capitol will move. Yes. From her senator's office to the Vice President's office. So it's really Richard Dixon that really transferred the location of the Vice Presidency. Working towards the old executive office building. And putting the locus of the vice president's office here at the Capitol. Because, of course, they are the tie breaking vote. Yes. All right, so um, on our camera there on the right, you can see um, Representative Poyer in the red scarf, member of the Joint Committee, the JSEC, Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies. VP-elect Harris hugging her children there. Oh, that's a moment there. Vice President, VP Vice meeting President. VP. Yes, Harris-elect. Vice President-elect Harris, yes. Notice the real furniture, folks. There's folding chairs out there, but that's a, it's a real chair and a real table. And on that table, I believe, are some of the sacred texts that are going to be used today. Representative Clyburn there having a moment with VP like Harris. I see snow. I see snow flurries, it looks like, in this shot of Chuck Schumer. Those are snow flurries. You notice it has gotten considerably dark. Yeah, so the wind did pick up. Well, soon to be the 46th president. Joe Joseph Biden. Biden. Dr. Dr. Joe Biden. Biden. Getting ready to cross through the crypt. Oh, 
way to kill this. I can't stress enough that we have cameras in areas that uh, you won't see on any other live stream or broadcast. These behind the scenes shots, this idea the that The Joint Congressional the Committee Center. on Inaugural Ceremonies, Staff Representative Alexandria Gordikin DiCicco, accompanying the House Republican leader, the Honorable Kevin McCarthy. Staff Representative Bridget Brennan, accompanying House Majority Leader, the Honorable Stinney Hoyer and Mrs. Yvette Lewis. Staff Representative Kate Knudsen, accompanying Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi and Mr. Paul Pelosi. Staff Representative Lindsey Kerr, accompanying the Honorable Amy Klobuchar and Mr. John Bessler. Staff Representative Stephanie Hager Mucko, accompanying Senate Majority Leader, the Honorable Mitch McConnell and the Honorable Elaine L. Chow and Staff Representative Rochelle Graves Schroeder, accompanying the Chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies, the Honorable Roy Blunt and Mrs. Abigail Blunt. So those members of the JSEC, the Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies, the official host of today's 59th Inaugural Ceremonies, we can see them there headed out onto the platform. The announcer just said the names. Proud moment for the committee. They've put all this together. Uh, not just September, well before that, the planning has gone on. And now, let's be honest, this, this has been a different inauguration and hopefully something that we won't see again uh, for a lot of different reasons. And they've really pulled this off handsomely. There goes Senator Blunt, the former Majority Whip of the House. He's been through a few of these ceremonies. Again, this is the second time he has chaired this committee. Yes. There's been five people to chair the committee twice, and Senator Blunt would be the latest. He spoke of the, this ceremony today being an assurance for all people, our continued and unbroken commitment, continuity, stability, perseverance, democracy. As we get ready to see the peaceful transfer of power in an event both commonplace and miraculous, President-elect Biden here and Dr. Jill Biden just passing through the crypt of the Capitol, soon to emerge onto the platform. We can see the back of the Obamas here on the platform. Cole and Ella, and it's snowing. Cole and Ella, VP Harris's children there. Well, Ella is a young lady you see with the plaid coat with kind of a embellishment on the shoulder. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen accompanying, accompanying the president-elect, the staff director of the Joint Congressional Committee and Inaugural Ceremonies, Fitzhugh Elder IV, the acting House Senate Sergeant-at-Arms, Tim Blodgett, and the acting Senate Sergeant-at-Arms, Jennifer Hemingway. You know, snow, not unheard of in Washington no. in January. But you know what? When they used to have these in March, snow was also not unheard of. Not at all. Until 1933, inaugurations happened in March. And Pretty risky in the era before before paved roads. Well, our, our last inauguration, it was, you know, we had a little bit of rain from President Trump. On our last inauguration, it, it, of course, President Obama, I, it was, I think it was about 25 degrees. The weather's always an element. Ladies and gentlemen, the President-elect of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. and Dr. Jill Biden. This piece by the Marine Band Trio from Hail America. The Marine Band known as the President's Own. They play at the pleasure of the President and the Commandant, the Marine Corps. And they've played at every inauguration since Jefferson's. approaching their seats on the platform here. Greeting former president uh, former VP Dan Quayle. Look at his eyes. The pride. Lady